Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is the 1st of December. The countdown to Christmas is on and my new series starts right here. 11 a.m. every single day between now and Christmas. Welcome to Kev's Window Wonderland. Hello folks and welcome to day one of Window Wonderland. The general premise of this series um, is that every day throughout Advent I am going to pick a club, do one transfer window and then holiday the team for the rest of the season to see how my newly assembled squad gets on. Do we do better than expectations? Do we manage to get sacked? Do we do better than the team's doing in real life? More importantly, just who do I end up signing? If the idea of that series excites you, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on this video. It would be awesome awesome if we could hit 2,000 likes on this video for the start of a brand new series. Something very different to anything I've done on the channel before. Um, and also, if you are new, just looking for stuff. I've lost a bauble already. I wasn't even going to acknowledge them, but they're falling off. Um, if you are new to the channel, I don't even know what you'd be searching for to find yourself here. But if you are new, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on. I do daily football manager videos. I don't dress like this every day. This this is a Christmas thing. But day one, club one, is going to be Bolton. If you want to make suggestions for clubs that I can do for the rest of the series, please let me know those down in the comments. But we're going to take over at Bolton. We're going to have a little look at the situation to start things off. Um, and then we are going to do our transfers and hit holiday mode. I plan for these to be fairly short videos. If it's more than 10 minutes, I didn't do my job properly. So let's charge through to see what we've got here at Bolton. Obviously, the thing with Bolton is they start, they start the season with no money and very few players. Obviously, in real life, they started with almost no players at all. In reality, they did sign a lot of players who were available for free after that, which has allowed them to put something resembling a squad together. Um, but there's very little money to spend. There's a 12-point deduction that we've got to take care of as well. And with all that in mind, all the all the board are really looking for long term and um, they want me to stay within wage budget and just don't go out of business is their long term target, which I think is a reasonable one. Um, but for this season, the goal is um, fight bravely against relegation from League One. So I don't think I'm even going to get sacked even if we get relegated. And um, the third round of the FA Cup would be nice. The second round of the League Cup would be nice. But really, it's a case of try and put together a squad that might be able to survive and then see where we end up. But basically, it's the perfect squad, the perfect team for us to start off with for uh, for Window Wonderland because they absolutely need a wonderful window. The only problem is I don't think there's any money to let me go and do it. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. And um, we'll just have a little look at that situation. So we have zero transfer budget. But we do get to retain 70% of trans... We're not going to sell anyone. There's no one to sell. There is £3,000 a week spare in the wage budget. So there's a potential for a little bit of wiggle room there. Presumably, we could try and bring in some loans as well. I think we are going to be quite reliant on loans. If we have a look at squad depth, obviously, we haven't decided on a tactic or anything yet. That will develop as time goes on. But we've got a couple of decent players. Uh, Daryl Murphy, 36 years old. My word, is that really what we've got as a striker? Oh, goodness me. And um, there's a couple of players in on loan already. Thibaut uh, Verlinden is on loan from Stoke. He looks like a decent player, actually. Um, Josh Earl on loan from Preston. Well, maybe, maybe not so much. Um, Jason Lowe in central midfield is probably going to be an important player for us. Played the full season last year, which is unusual. There's not many players still here, I think, that were here the season before. There's another example of one, Luke Murphy. Um, we've got the, the fabulous Murphy brothers knocking around the place. Liam Bridcut um, is in on loan from Forest as well. He's a he's a veteran of football. I can't believe he's only 30 years old. I've been signing him in Football Manager for at least 20 years. I don't understand. And then another loanee in the shape of Jake Wright on loan from Sheffield United at the back. I mean, to be honest, I don't know how many more loans we're going to be allowed to do. And with no no money in the transfer budget, this is this is going to be more challenging than I anticipated. Former posh bottle job Ben Anik in goal, who um, fam famously um, left us on a had his contract cancelled um, to spend more time with his family, and then the next day signed for Bolton, who were our promotion rivals that year. Cheers, Ben. 
Um, but he's going to be my reserve goalkeeper because I can't bring myself to play him. And of course, another turncoat, Josh Emmanuel, who did the dirty on me in non to Legend for Ipswich a few years ago. This is like a rogues gallery. Right, get rid of all of them, bring in some new players. I'll be back at the end of the transfer window to show you what I've done. Oh, this has not been pretty. Um, They have to pay half a million pounds a month back towards this stupid loan. A £40 million loan that's costing half a million pounds a month. This club is going to be out of business before the end of the season. It is insane. Um, I have done some transfers. Oh, have I not noticed that the whole time? We, we might do one more. It's deadline day. Um, we've suddenly got some money. Um, let's put it all into wage budget. It will just be more kids. I'll show you what I've done. I don't think I'm going to bring in anyone else anyway. Um, so where did we get to? That was that was as far as the previous manager got to. Um, I signed Brian Edmondson on loan, um, who's played five games and not scored yet, which is, I mean, to be fair, we've played five games and not scored yet. We've not got a league goal yet, which is troubling to say the least um, and then from then on it's just a bunch of kids to really fill out the squad Cameron Sangster is 19 years old formerly of Plymouth Dan Rooney is 20 years old you can see we're getting utility players um, formerly of Plymouth <laughs> uh, Milo Hall is another midfield player uh, formerly of West Brom uh, Liam Hegarty is a right back formerly of Middlesbrough uh, Charlie Ball is a striker, formerly of Everton, and actually has some decent potential. He might actually get some game time fairly soon if we continue to not score goals. Um, Tyler Brown is a left-back, formerly of Crystal Palace and a bunch of non-league stuff. Um, and then finally, Rian O'Sullivan doesn't exist. There we go. He is another left-back again with quite a lot of potential there. Um, he's formerly of Brighton. So there's a few players who've come in with an eye to the future. Nobody's left, obviously, because there was nobody to leave. And that's the state of the club. As we uh, as we hit holiday mode, we are rock bottom on minus 11 points. We've just got the one draw to our name. We've not scored a league goal yet. If we do anything other than get relegated, I'll be flabbergasted. Let's see how we get on, eh? Well, it's fair to say that didn't go very well. Um, we've made it to the end of the season. We finished rock bottom, 21 points on the board. We did score some goals in the end. Importantly, though, um, the board is still giving me a C plus. So the board think I'm great. Let's see what they think of my transfer activity. B minus for transfer activity. So, you know, the goal of the series, we've met the goal. Um, if we have a look at the players that we brought in, um, it looks like they brought a couple more in in January that were nothing to do with me, but they're not any good. So let's see how the uh, the boys that I brought in got on. Ryan Edmondson, my big my big signing. Four goals from 40 games. My word, did any of the rest of them even play? No. No. Okay. I think, I mean, we're just picking a few. This hasn't gone well, has it? Um, Bolton. I'm very sorry. But... You need a better man than me to save you from the situation that you're in. And that is a mess. And the wage budget, bearing in mind it was like £75,000 a week when we first started this off, the wage budget has been slashed further as well. So imagine trying to figure out, get your way out of this mess. If you've managed Bolton, please let me know how you've got on, who you signed and how you dealt with that. Because there's no one to sell to deal with that. That's constantly decreasing. It's another relegation. Things ain't looking good for Bolton. Merry Christmas and all that. Yikes. Tomorrow, I promise we'll uh, we'll do a club where I can actually spend some money. And we can, we can see what happens when I can throw some money about rather than having no money to throw about. And remember to let me know down in the comments which clubs you'd like to see me manage further on in this series. But if you have enjoyed part one of Window Wonderland, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos, including proper ones. I don't just do stuff in a Santa hat and Christmas baubles and don't play games. I do the game properly. I do the game too. And thank you very much for watching.